Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. We're almost at the end of our double feature socks knit along with our friends from Makers Mercantile. Like most sock patterns, you can knit the double feature socks using your favorite style of small circumference needle, rigid DPNs, flexi flips, a long circular needle for magic loop, or two circular needles. However, throughout this series, I'll be demonstrating how to knit the socks two at a time, working on two circular needles. I've already knit the ankle section of my socks. The pattern and needle management for the ankle is much the same as it was for the foot of the socks. Now, as I'm beginning to work the cuff, I'd like to demonstrate how I manage my yarn for that pesky purl stitch that is before and after the needle change so you don't get tangled up or create unintentional yarn overs. Finally, we'll bind off with the back stitch bind off. Let's get started. The cups of our socks are going to be worked in knit three purl two ribbing. To get the knit three stitches to align nicely with the eyelet columns that are across the instep, it's necessary to purl a stitch before and after each needle change at the sides of the socks. Just as I've been demonstrating throughout these lessons, the stitches that are across the back of the cuff for both socks are held on and knit with one needle. The stitches across the front of the cuff for both socks are going to be held on and knit with the other needle. I've already knit across the front of the cuff and I'm almost ready to rotate my work and knit the back of the cuff. Before I do, let's talk about this final purl stitch at the end of the needle. After purling across, my yarn is naturally going to be at the front of my work. Before I rotate, I like to bring this yarn underneath the active needle and in between the two needles. If you accidentally bring it back and over the needle, you're going to create an unwanted yarn over. So it's really important to go under the active needle that you've been working with so that the yarn is back between needle one and needle two. Then you can rotate your work to the other side. Now I'll work the cuff across the back. I'll slide my stitches up to the needle tip so I can begin knitting across the first sock cuff. I'll make sure that I'm knitting with the other end of the same needle. And before I begin, since this first stitch is a purl, I need to bring my yarn forward between my two new needles. So the yarn is going to come forward between the two active needles that I'm going to be working with. At that point, I can purl that first stitch and then continue in pattern across the cuff of my first sock. At the end of my first sock cuff, I purl that last stitch Again, my yarn is naturally going to be at the front. I want to move it to the back and I want to make sure to go under, not over the needle. If I go over, I'll create an extra yarn over. So I'll bring it to the back by going underneath the needle and then just let it go to the side. I'll slide the old stitches down a little bit and the next sock up to the needle tip. Right now, my yarn is in between the previous needle that's across the front and the one that's across the back. Before I can purl, I want to bring the yarn forward between my two new needle tips. Again, that prevents an extra yarn over here. So forward between the two needle tips. And then I can 
curl that first stitch. And work across to the other side of the second sock. Again, for that second sock, the final stitch is a purl stitch. My yarn ends up naturally at the front. I need to bring it to the back. If I go over, I'll create an extra yarn over that I don't want. So I'm going to bring it to the back underneath the needle tip. And then I can slide my stitches from the back of the leg down to the cord and rotate my work. And I'll continue in that manner and repeat the process for the other half of the round and continue for the remainder of the cuff. I finished knitting the cuffs of my socks and now it's time to bind off. I'm going to use the back stitch bind off. And after I finish knitting, I cut my yarn so that I have a yarn tail here that's about five times the length around the top of each cuff. I'm going to leave my socks on my knitting needles just as they're arranged as I bind off. So I'll turn things over. And I'll start with the first half of the first sock. I've thread my yarn tail onto a yarn needle. And I like the back stitch bind off because it's nice and easy to remember. Two stitches forward and one stitch back. So I'm going to take my yarn needle. I'm going to go through the first two stitches forward in the direction that I would normally knit and pull the yarn through. And then one stitch back. And as I do that, I'm going to drop the stitch off my needle. Notice I'm not pulling my yarn here super tight. I don't need to strangle the stitches as I'm binding off. If I do, this cuff will be very tight around my ankle and probably uncomfortable to wear. So two stitches forward. So I'm going through those two stitches purl wise. It's almost like doing a purl two together. Pull the yarn through. And then one stitch back. And you're basically going knit wise through that stitch. Drop it off the needle and pull the yarn through. And I'll continue across the first sock cuff. Two stitches forward. And then one stitch back and off. As I get to the end of my first half of my first sock, I'm going to go two stitches forward. One stitch back. I only have one stitch here left on the needle, but I'm going to go one stitch forward. And then just slightly rotate so I can see my next stitch on the other needle. And I'm going to go one more stitch forward there. Just be careful things don't get tangled up here. And then finally one stitch back and drop that last stitch off of my knitting needle. Then I'm all ready to go and do the second half of the cuff. But before I do, I'll work on the first half of the second sock. So I can take my yarn needle off of the first yarn and put it onto the second yarn and then continue on with my two steps forward and one step back 
When I get to the side of the second sock, again, it's two stitches forward. One stitch back and then off the needle tip. Two stitches forward and the first one is going to be on my current needle. The second stitch will be on my next needle. So two stitches forward and then one stitch back and off the needle. And now I just completely pulled one of my knitting needles out of my work. I'm left with both socks on one single needle. And I'll continue binding off in that two stitches forward, one stitch back across the second sock. When I reach the side of the sock, again, I'm gonna go two stitches forward. one stitch back, dropping it off the needle. And then to avoid any weird little jogs or stair steps here, I'm gonna go one, and then I'm going to go through one stitch at the top of the cuff, that very first stitch that I bound off for my two stitches forward and then one stitch back and drop the sock off of the needles. And then I can weave the yarn tail in on the wrong side of the sock and there's very little jog there. Once that sock is off the needle, there's only one sock left to finish binding off. I'll put my yarn needle back onto this yarn. And continue with my two stitches forward and one back. When I reach the side, it's two stitches forward, one stitch back. one and then again I'm going to catch the stitch that is at the top of the column and was the first stitch that I bound off for my two stitches forward and then one stitch back and off the needles and I'm all bound off and I just need to weave in my yarn tails Thanks for joining me for the double feature socks knit along with my friends from Makers Mercantile. We would love to see pictures of your finished socks. You can post them in the Makers Mercantile group on Ravelry and just look for the double feature socks KAL discussion thread. Before I go, I would just like to note that one of the nice things about this pattern is that you should be able to knit at least two pairs of socks with your two cakes of Haiku Madrona yarn. So this was my first pair of socks. They've already been washed. That's why they are laying so nice and flat here. This is the second pair of socks that I knit. And these were the ones that I did during the videos. I haven't washed them yet. That's why they look a little crumply. And since I knit one of the smaller sizes, the 70 stitch circumference size, I actually still have enough yarn left that I'm going to be able to knit myself a third pair of double feature socks. So that's a nice extra little treat. Again, thanks for joining us and happy knitting.